Welcome to the show. <laughs> Today you can actually watch me work on a bus. A couple people, a few minutes to get on here. And then we'll explain what we're going to be doing. If the title didn't already say it all. As you can see, this is one of the very few GM buses that actually has a fan belts that go to the radiator. Uh, most GMs are gear driven or just straight off the crankshaft. Hey Eric, Bruce, Alm, Robert. So yeah, again, uh, Silversides is one of the few buses that actually have this and it is a huge Achilles heel on here. Um, most silver size owners at one point or another will have their fan come off and go through their radiator. I've, I've experienced it already in, in my ownership of the bus. Uh, it's a very common problem and I need to do a few things to prevent that from happening. One of them is I'm always checking the fan to make sure it's on there secure. Can you hear me okay? Hopefully you can. Great. Okay. Um, so I lost a fan belt and part of the reason why, well, the, the big reason why is that pulley in the back, the pulley that the fan is actually on. Let's see if I can get around, get you a shot of it there. Uh, so the pulley that the fan is actually on, Okay, so right there on the pulley, uh, come on, focus. See that big break out of it? <laughs> so that's the V groove there. I can't really quite get the focus back there. So the V groove on the belt for the pulley drive is busted. So the whole side of it like this is missing on one side. So that allows that belt to ride deeper in the groove and wear more. So the two two belts wear unevenly and then you got one loose one tight um, that little fan hub is not really available because most of them are broken like that so it requires a puller when you take it off and somebody uses like a regular jaw puller on it and because it's just a little cast iron casting it, it busts when they do that you need to put the kind of puller that has the bolts that go through the middle and grab it through the, there's some threaded holes on it. But uh, anyways, that's how they get broken. Uh, most of them fail. I need to take that to somebody who can see and see me a new hub for that. That That's the end result of what needs to happen. Um, so here is the new fan belt. This is one that I took off at Wands. And here's a new one. Let me lay these next to each other here so you can kind of see what they used to look like and what they look like after they get worn on there for a while. So you can definitely see a difference between <laughs> the left and the right. Um, and the fact that those were the same is pretty amazing. Um, but it just starts to ride deeper and deeper and deeper into that groove where it actually gets down to the bottom. You can see where it's been wearing flat on the face of it. That's how far down in there it gets. And that's not how a V-belt is supposed to work. So this belt right here that's worn out has about 50,000 miles on it. So as long as I change them out about 30,000 miles, I've been okay um, and haven't lost one. But yeah, this one, the other belt with it broke, and this is what was left on there was this real skinny one. So Okay, so now to get those on there, there is a belt tensioner on the top, the pulley that's up to the top there, and that's on a slide, and there's an adjustable nut. I don't know if I can get in there to see it or not. Uh, you can't see it from here. Um, it requires a 15 16 wrench, and I've made a shorty. Uh, probably got rid of the warranty on that Craftsman wrench, but um, I even made it skinnier on the sides because you can't get a socket in there on it. You're supposed to be able to turn it by your hand. Eventually, you can. Once you get enough tension relieved on it, you can start to do it by your hand. 
Um, but when you go to tighten it, you need this too. So a short little wrench comes in really, really handy. And then there's an inch and a sixteenth nut on a slide back there that holds that. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Anyways, the inch and a sixteenth nut is what holds it all in place. Once you undo that, then you can start to adjust the tensioner on the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, Kelly, you wanna hold the camera for me here? Yep. And then if there's any questions, I could try to answer them while you're doing this. Uh, so clockwise will actually loosen this tensioner back here. You definitely don't want to do this when the engine is warm. I feel I can't show them. You might be able to see from the top down on me back there. I don't know. See the knob at all or no? No, I can't get up. Okay, now that it's loose, I can turn it by my hands. It's got like a kind of like the old school valve cover on a Detroit, um, that kind of a hand grip on it, and that's lowering that pulley down. We have a super chat. I can't see what it says here. I think it's an Arnie Diesel. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right. Hello from Norway. Take care. Stay healthy. Oh, thank you. I'm going to try and lower this down about an inch or two. The more I lower it down, the easier it's going to be to get the belts on and off. But Let's see if that's enough to get. No, not yet. Getting the new belt on is going to be even harder. It's getting a little tight with my fingers. You can barely get your hand in there on it, so if there's any tension, it's a little too hard. It really hurts. Um, Nate's wanting to know, are you still doing GoFundMe for RV pads or did you close that now? It's still open. Um, I get, if people continue to donate to it, I'm gonna be able to do maybe a little bigger pad than I wanted to do. and. Or even a sec second ones for when people come to visit. Uh, do you have a link somewhere? Where's that link at, Scott? Um, Is it on a, the community tab? It's on the community tab, but it's also on yesterday's live video. Talking about the RV pad, there's a link in the description of that. <laughs> I wish I could show them back in there better, but yeah, it's really I can't really see anything. What has happened with Tyler's silver sides? It's just sitting there until the world comes back to normal. Yeah, it's still sitting <laughs> in North Carolina, so yeah, when everything gets back to normal, we'll head over there and get it for him. I don't know if I'm going to do any more lives with you. I don't know. He talked me into it that day. I always do lives on the Patreon with him. We'll see. She definitely does at least one a month on Patreon. I'm going under. Man. 
Okay, you have another super chat from DJ. Hi from Scotland. I would like to see a drawing of your land where you build everything like a top view. We'll have to see if we can. Yeah, we can come up with something. We if, yeah, we can, we can come up with something and show. Um, how would you dress up the engine bay? Soda blasting? Steam cleaning would do great. <laughs> Does your new mini split keep all of Lenny nice and cool? We've, the hottest day we've had is 85, and it's, it absolutely has. Yes. Um, but I don't know what it's going to do on a 100 degree day. And it does a good job of heating it too. When does Lenny get the turbo? Uh, not for a while now. This this year, obviously, the financial situation has changed. I'm not making any money. I don't have the parts. That's not on the big got, priority list. It got pushed down. <laughs> do you have a drone? Maybe you can do an aerial video. I don't. I sold my drone last year. Yeah, he sold it because he wasn't using it. Off, I can get it around the fan. It's even hard to show them this back in there to get it to focus where I want it to. Michael Martin saying, I wish I had found you last year when you were in Missouri. I would have come down and helped. We'll be back in Missouri whenever this is all said and done with here. Um, just don't know when at this point. That's interesting. What's this caught up? <laughs> um, Well, I never struggled with that before. <laughs> Blake's asking if that's an old milk, why not just cut it? Uh, because it's in better shape than my other spare. <laughs> yeah, he always keeps them for spares just in case we need them. You never Man, know. This, this bus is really low to the ground back over here. It must have sunk in the dirt a little bit. <laughs> Was it stuck on? I couldn't the see. Top. It. I couldn't. I couldn't see that it was up over the top.
Rick is saying, not sure if it's a camera angle, but that hub looks like it was wobbling. Okay, one belt off. So, if you want to see this one next to this one, it's obviously still worn. But it's nothing compared to that one that came off of there last time. So, three different stages of wear. New, <laughs> used up, and way beyond used. I got about an inch more clearance under here than what I have right now. <laughs> and someone's asking how mom's doing. She's doing great. Yes. Haven't talked to her for a couple days, but when we did last, she was feeling way better. She was cooking, she was eating, feeling a lot better. get out a set of belts. Well that last one's got about that one that's severely worn is like 50,000 miles. I shouldn't have went that far. Oops I sorry I just accidentally hit my thumb hit somebody to accidentally remove a comment I just put it back I hope <laughs> sorry my bad I was scrolling can you lift that on the top pulley for me there Kelly or can you not do that um what do you want me to do lift the belt under the first pulley right here Okay, sorry if the camera's gonna move too much, but. Got it in the groove? No, it's not even close. You need more slack? Yeah, I can't get it. can't do it one-handed. That's all right. I can't either. Oh, yeah, you need a pile more slack. Catch anything in the mouse trap yet? No. Is this belt the right damn size? I hope so. I ordered exactly what it was. Yep. That's like the right damn size. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I didn't measure this one before I stuck it on there. Someone just asked, are you fitting the belt same size? <laughs> well, it sure don't look like it is. I got, is there two, is there numbers on these boxes? Or are they the same number? Uh, Blake says, even though it's a dual pulley system, it looks like you only run one belt. Any reason behind that? Oh, no. No, we lost one. Yeah. On the way here. <laughs> it decided to run one belt, not me. Why is that so tight? Okay. Obviously, the belt is way down in the groove more, or not as far down in the groove as it was. keep moving that tensioner down maybe that just needs to keep going it didn't act like it wanted to go any further <laughs> this is kind of like watching paint dry i'm sure 
it's turning more now. Unless I just had a goop around a thread or something. And John wants to know, would taking the fan shroud off make it easier? Yeah, but you can't really get the fan shroud off unless you pull the radiator. And I could take the bottom half of the fan shroud off, but it wouldn't make it any easier. So Nate is... This that... usually doesn't take more than 45 minutes or so. Is that a P, a C, P, V, C plumbing yes. fitting? Yes. <laughs> it's original, 1947. <laughs> and then Jim Smith uh, sent a super chat swear jar effing belts. <laughs> All right, hopefully, see if that works. I've got about three revolutions on it. Oh yeah. Halfway there. I gotta get it on the fan still, and then I gotta get it to move over one, which is always fun. <laughs> Yes, the motor could use a power wash. Unfortunately, we don't have a way to do that. Yeah, we don't even have running water here, man. Yep, no, <laughs> no running water, so can't do anything. Alright, it's gonna get there. It's still really tight, so I'm just gonna loosen that tensioner a little bit more. No need to fight it. I had to write a cheat sheet over here, counterclockwise to tighten, because <laughs> it's really hard to tell what it's doing. It's it's a fine thread thing. It's still turning, so I'm gonna get about one more, one or two more revolutions. <laughs> Stay tuned for when we start, Lenny. <laughs> <laughs> All right. JD, we uh, went the other day and filled out everything to get our water hooked up. But since uh, everything that's going on, they're two weeks on, two weeks off. So we don't know when they're going to be able to get out here and run our water for us. We don't have a well or anything here. Peter wants to know, are we planning on getting more quotes for pads, or are you still planning on doing it yourselves? That's the question. <laughs> We're going to try it ourselves, I think, for the first one and see how it goes. Because they wanted, like, $3,000 in labor. <laughs> yeah, that one, one pad down there was going to be almost $3,000 just in the labor part of it, so... If we can save that money and potentially pour another pad. Well, labor versus just the concrete cost. Yes. Loosen it a little bit more. So if we can save that money and do it ourselves and then potentially have another pad for other people that would come and visit, that would be great. How big is the pad? I think we're looking at, what, 15 by 45? Yes, he is going to put both belts on. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe he'll give up. No, I'm putting both belts on. This one's got to get out of the way. <laughs> All right. Let me see how I fit. I'm going to have to take that. Wish the bus was up just a little bit higher. <laughs> so 
one. So it must have been a Union Company. I don't think so. No, that was, and that was the cheaper of the ones when we, we, we had a few quotes. Okay, I know we don't eat eggs. No meat, no dairy. Will the pads have rebar in them? I think so. You couldn't hear me said I think so. <laughs> you were talking about mesh, I know. No, we haven't always been vegan. It's been about three years. How many yards did they say you needed? Um, like 13 for that one. It's got to go a little bit looser still. I'm just fighting it. What, what spurred the change to, for us becoming vegan? Um, There's a video we just did the other day, live with me and you. It yeah. explains all of that. Yeah, Scott was having health problems. It's just, it's getting really tight to turn this. I don't wanna break it. Joe, if you just follow my new channel that I started, um, Vegan Cooking with Kelly, um, you can see some of the recipes. I, I don't plan on doing any kind of cookbook or anything. I've been making stuff based on what people have been asking for lately. So we typically don't eat as many carbs as what's been showing, but that's what people are asking for. The progies were awesome, I think. What about you, Scott? Oh, yeah. Fan hub, and then I'll pull it on the tensioner. Is it more than six inches thick? You're going to do six inches on the concrete, right? Six inches, yes. Yeah. Will you need more batteries when you add the new panels? No. So you're having issues because you wanted to do this live. That's exactly right. Yes, mom is much better. The tensioner has to go down further. This is not going to work. channel's Vegan Cooking with Kelly. It won't let me grab a link right now to do it, put it on there, but otherwise I would. I believe Scott has it in one of his community tabs. The community tabs got all kinds of links to it. My family is doing good. Thanks for asking. Is this one of the jobs you wish you didn't do on camera? <laughs> oh, I don't care. Last time it took me, what, about an hour, I think, last time, but it usually takes about 45 minutes. How far into this are we? You're 29 minutes. Yeah. And one of them is almost done. I mean, come on. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad. It's a little windy. I'm just happy the sun's out today. <laughs> Why do you 
to get a hammer to tap it. It's loose, but I don't think it's moving all the way. I think there's a bunch of grease built up. Slide. Oops, sorry. I'm lie, it was much easier with a used belt, too. <laughs> they started with the belt and then built the motor around it. Sometimes I believe that. some lube on it. <laughs> I want to know if we're still planning on doing power steering on the bus. Yes, yeah, we will eventually. Sure. We have to get out to North Carolina to do that. Did, did you put my um, coil away? The, the coil is on that side, that side shelf. Know if those fan blades hit anything. Have they hit anything? Yes. Yes, absolutely they have. Um, that fan is definitely not balanced. As I cut that fan myself with a sawzall in a parking lot because it was for an 8V71, a much larger fan. And I cut the blades shorter in order to get it to have a fan again. Is that an adjustable fan? No. Oh. Why is it gonna be so hard? You can't, like getting your arm in there, you're wrapped around five different things. Digging into you. Where will you be in Missouri when you come back? Jefferson City for sure. Yep. Does the new AC unit run a lot? It's been cold. Yeah, it, it hasn't couple days we had it going and it worked really well for us. What does each fan belt go to or is the second one redundant? They're redundant. Yeah, they're going to the same. It's gonna be close. One of them said this is a nightmare government job. One man working and 500 watching. <laughs> Do we eat fruit like citrus? Yes, we eat a lot of fruit.
Have you ever had both fan belts come off while you're driving? No. Knock on wood. Yeah. How long have you been doing YouTube? I can tell you right now, there's absolutely no way I'm getting this on there in this position. Oh, I see what I can do. Hand me that socket. Where's this? Yeah. There's a stop. Uh, but if I loosen the bolt up more, I can get it to come down. Tyler's on here. He says, from experience, this job royally sucks ass. <laughs> it's not hot right now, so it's not so bad. <laughs> when the engine is warm, this really sucks. I look if I actually like almost take this all the way off. Now I can turn it from the top and bring it down a lot further. That's what the stopping is. Face forward. It's a little dirty now, babe. I bet. I felt it all hitting me. What's my favorite meal to make? I don't know that I have a favorite. What, do you, what would you say, Scott? I don't know. I make a lot of stir fries. The weather here is nicer today, Tyler. It's what, like 58, 59 out? Yeah, sunny? it was 28 this morning. Yeah, it was a 28 when we woke up this morning. Right. Is the fluid draining the reason for not pulling the radiator? No, pulling the radiator just sucks. <laughs> Been there, done that. Right, Scott? Yeah, that was not a fun job. I mean, it's also an hour job. But <laughs> Is it much harder to remove the fan shroud to get the belt adjusters? Yeah. Yes, it's a lot more work. Will I be doing a live cooking show? I never really thought about it. Maybe in the future. Future, yeah. Tyler, are you able, someone's asking for a, um, a link to our Patreon page. I don't know if you can jump on there and, and then they're asking about the GoFundMe. I don't know if you could do that for me. If not, I could, we could put it in when we're off of here. Is that fan temperature regulated or direct drive? Direct drive. Direct drive. It used to be temperature, but they got rid of that because that was the huge problem. How quiet is that your new property? Planes, trains, autos? Um, we don't hear any planes or trains. We just, we do hear some vehicles going by, but not, it's not as bad now that the leaves are on the trees. Is 
Is there somewhere you post your schedule ahead of time so I can plan for it with my work? No, we don't post anything ahead of time. We, we usually announce where we're going to go, but who knows what's going to happen right now. It'll be a, it, probably a couple months before we go anywhere. Yes, Nate, if you could post that GoFundMe link, that would be great. Well, the one belt is nearly on, but I don't know how I'm going to get it to jump over to the thing out with that being that tight. Thank you for posting that link, Tyler. That is not going to go down anymore. I have no idea how I'm going to get the second belt out. <laughs> when are you going to get a tractor with a lift bucket and drag box? Probably not, because the neighbor said we can use his, or he'll come do what we need. He said not to buy a tractor. He said don't spend our money on it. Buy something else. Because we have awesome neighbors. Belt and let me know if it... <laughs> Bless you. Okay, so Scott's going to Turn the engine over here. He's barring it over. Right way. Yeah. Is that going on or coming off? Um. It doesn't look like it's moving. I mean, you're moving it around, but it doesn't look like it's really going anywhere. You want me to bar that up so you can watch it? It's the only place it wasn't on was all the way on the fan on the back. It was halfway on. Oh, it looks like it's on then. On the first. The last time I put brand new belts on it, the tensioner was broken. So I fixed the tensioner. And now apparently I can't go as loose. Can you start Lenny from the engine bay? No. You're supposed to be able to, but I cannot. Why not electric fans? Here, I need to move. You put the. Okay. I needed to move. Huh? You left the crowbar in the thing. Okay. I got one. But that is going to be super hard to try and flip over to the other pulley unless I get more that tensioner to come off of there. So I got it's all the way off on the bottom, but apparently it doesn't let it come down far enough. Because that thing is tight. I mean, I, there's zero tension on it and I could barely spin the fan. 
not gonna happen. The only reason I was able to get it started is because that pulley has that little break in it. Let me try turning that tensioner some more. It really doesn't want to move more. I don't know if it's just because it's never been on those threads before. Or it's not going all the way down. Can you hammer the belt deeper into the pulley to give you a little slack? Yeah, but I got to get it over to the next hump. Okay. Hey, look at the camera, Scott. <laughs> Shit on my face. Just a little bit. <laughs> it's in your teeth. Oh, great. <laughs> it's turning again. Can't you bump start with the solenoid to help walk the belt on? It, it's on. It's it's 100% on right now. It just needs to it's get over, go over to one the more next. Groove. And that's not going to happen with how tight it is. Is there any part of the bus you have never had to work on? Uh, yeah, quite a bit. Oh, sorry. It is in my mouth. <laughs> Can soapy water help them slip on? It's, this is turning now. So either it was caught on the bottom and I got it unwedged. So you didn't answer earlier. Somebody else was asking again. Um, why not electric fans? Someday, maybe I will. But for now, this works. Can you put a bar against it while Kelly bars it over? It's still gotta be looser. I mean, I, I, there was no way to even get it started coming out. This sucks. Does it help to cuss? Yes. Sometimes. No, we drop the F-bombs when you're not working. <laughs> Usually not in anger. <laughs> No, the belt is the correct size. It is. Just keep turning. It's fine thread. How many people are still watching this debacle? 630. Oh, wow. And you're 48 minutes in. <laughs> Someone says call AAA, see what happens when they show up. <laughs> if they show up. The good news is I have one on. <laughs> Gary says at least he's still smiling. He'll continue to smile. Oh yes. I'm working on my own damn bus. It's not so bad. Um, let's set the camera on a tripod for a second and then I'm gonna have you Try to turn it over while I try and use a pry bar to flip this over to the next hump. Nothing's gonna work. I'm gonna try to put this on the tripod here. Sorry, it's gonna get shaky. Just flung my phone on the ground doing that. And they're okay. So you want me to turn this over? Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Oh, just a test. Go ahead and just try. Just a little something we can wedge in this door. Can't see. You can't hit that. Yeah, you go this way. You're not, you're not doing anything. I can't get it in there. Do I need to turn it over the opposite way? 
if you no. want, try from the top if you want. Does it do anything? Yeah. Well, I can't, it's, I don't know how you were getting it in there so easy, but at the end, all the way to the bottom. I am. Oh, the small one? Try to go back and see if there were questions while I was doing that. hard to turn that tensioner any further. I don't know that it's going down any further. Does the thing have geared axles? It's a regular, it's a standard Volkswagen. Are you going to put a deck facing the cliff. Eventually we're putting something out there. Would warming the belt in hot water help make it more malleable? So it will stretch more. It's, this tensioner is just not going down as far as it's supposed to. Um, I'm thinking maybe there's just a bunch of grime and buildup on it that it's not. I don't want to break it. It doesn't help that I, this is all the leverage I have for it. Dude, it's a tiny little wrench.
sharp back there. Got my ring on too, babe. You're a bad boy. All right. Let me pop it over the first one here. So I'll have you turn the engine over. And I'll see if I can get it. Okay. Sorry, I was trying to catch up on comments. Ready? I think I gotta go underneath to do it because of the direction you're gonna spin. You're going to take the tensioner all the way off, you said? Let's see. see if I can find something to prop this door open for me then. moving any further. <laughs> so, no, so no luck taking that off? So I have the, the hold down bolt is 100% off. I pull it way to the side, but it won't come down any further because of the top adjusting nut. I don't think that's maxed out. Everyone behaving on here, Tyler? Let's see if I can catch up on these. Did the previous landowner own your land? It's, it, was, it had been in the family for generations. generations, but they never did anything really here. All right, I need you to try and turn it over again. I said okay. Oh. What did you think I said? 
Dad, you dropped an F bomb. No, no. Keep going. So that I got it jumped over on that point. Let me go to the next one. <laughs> oh, I don't fit. <laughs> Well, you've got the bus leaning. Plus, I'm laying on this one inch pad. Am I supposed to take this out of here? I keep doing it. I wasn't going. You didn't tell me to. So go? Yeah, go ahead. Try it. Definitely not a one person job. Oh. Keep going? Okay. Yep. Keep going. They can see better or not. <laughs> uh, they can't see anything where because you were back and forth. Sorry. So there's the belt getting ready to go on. Oh. Hold on. Did it just jump back? You didn't change directions, did you? No. Uh, oh, no, you're doing it right. Keep going. Sorry. <laughs> Forgot which way it was going. I don't even know if they can see it. I can't see anything. It's almost done. Come on. Two more. I didn't mean, I wasn't telling you to hurry. I was talking to the belt, not you. Hey, okay, you can stop. Yay. All right, yay. Big applause. Now I got one more to do, but this one will be easy. <laughs> Let me try to grab the right belt. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go back through and see. We are sitting so crooked here. See if I can see any questions here.
Yes, yeah, so those dogs that you hear barking, which they're not right now, we're not 100% sure where they're coming. They're coming from way down and across somewhere. They're not coming from the awesome neighbors. Yeah, not from the awesome neighbors. We, we know when they let their dogs out because they bark the entire time. So that's my only complaint around here is listening to the barking dogs. We don't know where they're coming from. You said that, right? Yeah. How did the dump go? Pump work okay. We haven't done it yet. That's so, coming up next. That's, yeah, that's what he's, we're doing when after he gets this done. No, we don't have any dogs here. Is it on? They're both on. Yay! <laughs> Gonna do a happy dance now. Oh, not yet. <laughs> but that's the hard part. Yeah, it will be nice to have running water on the property right now. There, our awesome neighbors are letting us uh, use theirs. We just drive on over and put their hose into the big 35-gallon jug thing that we bought and fill it up and bring it back and hook it into the bus. All right, how long has it been? 67 minutes. That's not too bad. This job is 90% done. Someone wants to know what's the estimated time in the manual? Yeah, I was hearing chainsaws earlier. Before we started, I was we were hearing somebody was shooting off in the distance somewhere. Okay, now I just need to tighten that back up. I don't want to be able to spin the pan. That's, that's as tight as I want to go though. Because otherwise with that broken pulley, it'll just eat through the belts way too fast. Everything wasn't so sharp around my hand. That'd be awesome. Is so bright. I'm trying to read through the see if I'm if there's any questions. Sorry if I've missed something, but I'm <laughs> someone said it's bunny suit time. <laughs> what 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 first farm animal will we be getting? Tyler wants goats. I don't want any animals. We will be coming and going too much to have to take care of them. When will the work start on the slab? Soon. We have to go get or call the lumber yard and see if they're about delivering the wood so we can make the forms, forms for it. I was hoping some people that had some experience doing concrete would want to come help out. I've watched people do it. I think we'll be okay. It doesn't have to be perfect anyways. 
left. We do have one person that has yes, volunteered to come help us. Well, you need to take any precautions to keep that cliff from washing out. No. No, it's, it's been plenty of rock in it too. It's been like that for a long time. Just a hair too tight. Back it up. One full turn. My belt's up. Okay. All right. Scott, um, uh, David Ellison said to check your email. He emailed you. So when you're done later, check that. That's not good. Will Lenny run on biodiesel? Yes. Oh, just gotta tighten it up and we're all done. Do you have RV washer dryer on the bus? No. Record time. Yeah. <laughs> the wrong record. <laughs> 73 minutes. Now, I don't know how your OCD is going to do because I don't know if the belts are on facing the right direction where the. the Why the, are you telling me the that? The print goes the same way. <laughs> I'll redo it. <laughs> There's a 50 50 chance that it is. I can't see the writing on the other one. Ask right. me if I care right now. All right, I can take a couple questions if anybody has questions. I see, now hand me the camera and I'll try and stick it in there now. Look at <laughs> okay. It's like I got gloves on. So, a, a question just popped up. And Hold I on, we'll I, get back to your question in a second. Got, Let me see if I can show you what I've been doing. That's the tensioner knob right there, 15 16 on the top, and you cannot hand turn it. And then it goes down. Uh, I could probably get this from the bottom. Hold on. Kelly, give me that flashlight. Here you go. So that's the bottom of the tensioner. It slides down on that rail there, and there's a nut. nut there lets the tensioner slide down on that little rail on the top and there's a threaded rod that goes through to the bottom right there and that's what lifts it up and down but it was maxed out it wouldn't go any further so that's why it was a challenge okay coming out from under us. Oh, okay sorry all right oh, I'll lay here in the shade and take some questions once I find my glasses that fell off my head. Uh, still got a jack under here, I forgot about. <laughs> and a board sitting all cattywampus. Oh, fired up. That's what I just read. <laughs> okay. You wanna go start it for me, though? Yeah. Don't pull that other switch on the side. So just hit the this one switch to on and then hit the start button. Remember that one, the battery booster one I used to have? That's just, don't pull that one. I'm just flipping the switch up and press the button. 
Yep. Make sure, oh, it's in neutral, definitely, because we were just turning it over. Do you want to be by the exhaust for the startup? That was a treat. Yeah, you can go turn it off. <laughs> Kelly even revved it up for you. That was a rare treat. I get to drive him today all the way down this road. Ow, I just hit my elbow on the thing. That damn thing hurt. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna drive him down there to go to the septic tank. Okay. Yes, you can throw that out. Keep those other belts, yep, keep those belts as spares. And then uh, the tools if you want to put those away too. I'm going to go try and sit somewhere where I can actually read this. Sorry, I, I can't see anything in the phone when I'm in the sun. Okay. If you've asked any questions... Okay, so yeah, he sounded cool. Hopefully a lot of you thought that. Mom's doing great. Um, much, much better. I was just trying to read some of your things. So you're not really looking at anything special other than the side of the bus right now. I can't, I, it's so bright out here in the sun. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and end this live stream. I'm gonna get ready to go do our, our dump out. We gotta run the macerator pump for that. Uh, Lenny hadn't been started in uh, about three three weeks. Yeah, it was three weeks ago, Monday. So three weeks ago yesterday. Yeah, I'm gonna get the jack and that board that's under there. Um, Okay. All right. Well, I got some work to do to get him ready to move because we haven't moved him. He's been sitting here. So I got a bunch of stuff to move out of the way and get him going. Thank you for watching. I know that that was really a long, boring thing where you couldn't really see much of what I was doing, but at least you got to see something. And he's got belts on him. Slowly making progress on his repair list. Propane doesn't help with startup at all. And we did not use any just now. So maybe I'll just shoot another video of him running later or something, or I'll have Kelly shoot him when he drives down the drive uh, to go to the dump. I don't think anybody wants to see him do the RV dump, but okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it, everybody. Have a great day. Hope that satisfied your bus fix for today. <laughs>